It's been almost a year now since Bethel School District voters passed a bond levy. That money is already already funneling through the schools. KEZI 9 News reporter Rhoda Krause is live in the newsroom to show us how it's being used. Rhoda? Brian and Jennifer, voters passed a $49.5 million bond measure last year. Part of that will fund two new elementary schools, but it's also funding wireless internet, another technology that schools say will make a world of a difference. Those are nice ones. The principal at Shasta Middle School says a majority of classes use the computer labs for state assessment testing. Uh, down this way, this is one of our two. And he says these computers are old, they freeze, and they take up time that could be used for learning. These are like 15 years old. And students needing new technology because they are outdated. But last year, voters in the Bethel School District changed that. Well, the whole school district will have all new technology, which is it's a pretty impressive. It's, it's a big support. At Shasta Middle School, they'll do this take out the old technology and then put in all new computer labs for the students. So we'll have about 40 in each of the labs. Those should be arriving within the next few weeks. All Bethel schools have wireless internet this year too, and teachers say that'll help. To reiterate some of the concepts and learning targets that they're using in the classroom, it's been a very big help for them. And new locks. Teachers can now lock their doors from the inside instead of having to right, go out and use a key the like they've been having to do. All of the improvements and upgrades are directly linked to voters when they overwhelmingly approved last fall's bond measure. To have that kind of support from the, the community that they know that education is important, it was, it was a pretty big thing. The bond is also funding new textbooks in Bethel schools, and they're also updating their security with new cameras. Live in the newsroom, Rhoda Krause, KEZI 9 News.